Hi there, my name is Amos of Tenkebe ForestSignal.com and today is the 13th of the 1st of 2014. And, and today we are looking at Euro card and monthly time frame. As you can see on the top left hand corner, Euro card and monthly time frame. Some people will be wondering why this guy is talking about monthly time frame. There's, if there's no setup on one minute, five minutes, one hour daily time frame, why should I be trading it? And if I see a good setup on monthly time frame, why should I take it? Because all I want in this in this uh, forest environment is a way of making profit, whether small or big. And don't be looking at it that oh my stop loss is going to be heavy. The percentage that I've prepared to be risky on my account, whether I'm trading one minute of or one hour or monthly time frame, will not change. The profit I make may change, but as long as I'm making a profit and my account is getting is growing up, is growing, is increasing every day. That is so important to me. But I don't know if it's important to you or anyone else there. But my own is, you can apply this to any time frame of yours, of your choice. The minimum time frame I trade is one hour. And I trade up to monthly time frame as I'm showing you on Eurocard monthly time frame today. And what are we looking at here? Uh, in the past months, long ago, uh, since 2010, this market moving nicely downward. As you can see uh, on our left hand corner here, you can see this nice move downward. And the market moved downward and since then the market entered into this range and as the market entered this range for long for so long it's been this range and on this day on this uh precious day uh, the market decided to break out that range as you can see it became a fake uh, breakout downward uh, the market you know give a fake break downward on this area we expect the market to pull back and continue downward where we take up but it never happened it never happened instead the market decided to you know return into the range and there since then it's been doing uh, up and pull back continuation pull back continuation has been happening inside inside this uh, big range and uh, the market decided to break out of the range at the top side but that's not what i'm really trading at what i'm really trading at is my target is this and because the market has been doing nicely upward as you can see it's been ranging upward is upward is uptrend that means the downtrend on this at this moment is over so the market could get to this level and decided to turn around and you know start to move downward again it could happen even at this level where it is it could decide to turn around and going downward but at the moment what i'm targeting is this level this clean clean no traffic you know road here where the market moved nicely downward unlike this area as you can see in this in this area in the past Got all this congestion all this trouble around here so you if you have that kind of you know area here you don't want to be participating in the board because it's clean and this range is broken and this resistance the former resistance area has been violated so why not i will take the trade and at this time of this uh, i was setting my pending order here this area you know it's a pullback here you can see it's a wick this wick was a body before it's a can do body before now it's becoming weeks and the market is turning back and then i put my pending order there i uh, expecting the market to fill me in as if, if you decided to be going up right that's what is happening here it's a nice move downward and a change in the trend a range breakout fake breakout back into the range and the and and the former resistance area was violated and i believe the market is going up under my potential uh, profit level is right there that's my stop loss that's my pending order and I'm expecting the market to feel me when it's breaking through that area. That's why it's my pending. I've not been feeling the market. It's just pending order at the moment. So I will, I will, I will see you in, on the other video. Okay. Hello there again. It's Amos of TenkebeForestSignal.com again. It's just an update on the video we make earlier. The pending order in which we set on on the Eurocard monthly time frame. Eurocard monthly time frame, as you can see. Uh, at the left top left hand corner euro card monthly time frame is an update on the trade we we're talking about earlier uh, in which this area you know market give us fake breakout up after this uh, long move downward and ranging and pullback continuation is continu uh, happening in this area and if you remember i put my pending order just there above there as the market was doing the pullback and now the market has filled me up it's about 250 pips up and it's still live trade. I'm still in this uh, trade now, live, as I'm recording this video. So the market was around this area when I set my pending order. 
so now i've been filled up and it's about 250 ups last week friday at plus 220 i took half of the um i took some percentage out of the trade but i still left my you know stop loss there because this candle is still not close yet so maybe end of the month if it, this level is broken and the market move upward then i can move my stop loss you know somewhere here then i will take another percentage out of the trade uh, because i'm expecting the market to come here and this is the area where i'm targeting before that line i will be out of the trade that's my that's my plan so what is the reason of taking it is because change change uh in the direction of the trend the trend change as the trend change we've seen move up pull back continuation move up pull back continuation the same thing happened here and this resistance area was violated bam the market res respected the area as if it's not going to, now you break it out it's pulling back and continuation so if you look proper sometimes we look but we don't see if you look proper you you understand it when it's happening so that's what is happening here and that is the reason why i took the trade because when it was doing its pullback i didn't go into the trade i waited with my penny order that when it turns around because the market may decided to go back into the range again so i waited there as he's doing his pullback i put my pending order if you see from the beginning of the video then as it's coming back you fill me in and that's exactly what happens there it fills me in and i'm expecting the market to keep moving pushing up onto this level and there's no much there there's no magic there there's nothing there just say uh, okay let me share with you maybe to help someone and if it does, visit our website for more. Thank you for watching. Bye.